Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date, August 31st, 2016, our word for discussion is dwell. Exodus 29, 46, And they shall know that I am the Lord their God, that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, that I may dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. 2 Chronicles 8.11 And Solomon brought up the daughter of Pharaoh out of the city of David in, unto the house that he built for her. For he said, My wife shall not dwell in the house of David, king of Israel, because the places are holy, whereunto the dark ark of the Lord hath come. In Psalms 27.4 one thing have I desired of the Lord, that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, and behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. Isaiah 11:6. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the farthing together, and a child shall lead them. This word defined is to live or to stay as a permanent resident, to reside, to live or continue in a given condition or state, to linger over, to emphasize or ponder in thought, speech, and writing. God rescued the Israelites from slavery dwelled with them and cared for them when they were obedient. King Solomon felt his wife could not live in the house of his father, King David. King David wants to dwell in the house of the Lord. In the end days, there will be peace. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf, and the young lion and the farthing together, and a child will lead them. Once you think about this today, have a blessed day.